Hi, this is the new cyberpunk bass by Melty Production for M Sound Factory. Let's have a closer look at it. First of all, if you open the default preset, you're going to have a sequence. Control over this you have down here. In this field you can select your sequence or you can turn it off. Let's hear 8. Let's turn the sequencer off for now and let's try to get a sound that's as clean as possible. I think this is about as clean as it gets, but this is of course not the point of the synthesizer, I just chose the sound to demonstrate some of the functionality. Let's start with the oscillator. You have two oscillators. The first one is your regular oscillator and you can adjust the resolution. What does that mean? If we have the resolution at zero, this means we have pretty much a sawtooth oscillator. But if we turn up the resolution, these little jagged edges get bigger and bigger until we have basically a square wave or a pulse. Then we can introduce some unison with detune with hype. And we can crush it. Next up we have this folder. Which is a wave folder. With a high and low pass. And the second oscillator is a sub oscillator which doesn't go through any effects. It just gives a bit more low end. Next up we have two filters. First of all, a high pass filter. Which doesn't really sound like it's doing a lot because we have the sub enabled and the sub doesn't go through these filters. So let's turn down the sub to hear better what this frequency filter does. You can make the peak more extreme. Also the swarm knob makes these peaks move around a bit. Then chop is a low pass filter with a bit of movement. And you can adjust the speed of that movement, like a filter closing with the chop time, make it very slow, or make it a bit faster. And mod, you can hear what mod does right here. I'm not 100% sure how they made that effect, but you get it, it makes like a biting sound on the attack. Then usually if you turn the decay off, this means you have just an infinite sustain. But you can also have a defined decay. I'm dragging down with the mouse. Or you can double click and sync it to the tempo. This is good for programming a fast arpeggio or plucks that you want to be exactly in time with, for example, eighth notes. And as always, there's also an effects tab, and this one is actually pretty complex. First of all, you have another distortion that you can choose between many different modes. Let's hear some of them. As you can hear, many different flavors. Next up we have these five boxes and you can actually use these to change the order. For example, have the distortion right at the beginning. And then next up we go into shape. Interesting. 
Sounds a bit like a static phaser to me. Shaper is a bit like different cabinets. And we have... Now we have a moving phaser. Some reverb. Reverb on the bass. You can also make lead sounds with this. There's even lead sound presets. Redux, which is a bit crusher. And again, you can drag the order of these around up here. And then there are also these three effects, which are meant more as performance effects that you might want to program for a transition or something. For example, pump. Which introduces the classic sidechain pumping. There's like a maximizer. And then there's a transition, which consists of a lift, which is like a high pass filter with some reverb. And a riser. And of course, there's also the globals page with volume, velocity range, and pitch band settings. That's the Cyberpunk bass. If you own M Sound Factory or M Sound Factory LE, you can get it for free right now. And if not, you can download a 15 day free trial. Thank you very much to Melody Production for having me. I have been Sylvan from the channel Santu Sound Factory. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.